Hey, all right, fuckers and fuckettes. What we're doing today is making a set of L brackets, but this is a good opportunity to show some of the youngsters out there. I know you old guys, you know this shit, all right? Give me a break. I'm trying to help out the kid that don't know how to do this shit. So we're going to show some of the youngsters how to properly use a drill press. First off, you do line it up with your big bit in. Because I'm doing this blind, I don't really have anything marked. I'm just making a set of L brackets. It's not rocket science. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I do want it to half-ass look nice. And I'm even going to grind this shit off after I've fitted it to the bike four or five times. But now, I've got it lined up where I want it on the big bit. Don't drill nothing. Take your big bit out. You see, down in here, see that little ridge right there? Whatever that ridge is, that's what you pick for your small bit. To make your pilot hole with. And on the really large shit, sometimes you got to make a pilot hole and then a leader hole. Okay, so. I got my little one in there. Very little pressure, almost none. I've still got oil dripping down on there, that's why I didn't oil that. Still got a drop on there. Contrary to popular belief, I don't like cleaning my fucking floor, alright? Okay, so most of y'all that know that will believe that easily. Because y'all have heard me cuss about that shit. <laughs> and then seen me not do it for weeks at a time. Now I put in my big bit. Hit my bit with a shot of oil. And you can use buttercut, you can use number one gold. I use fucking gear oil, alright? Raise up just a cunt hair, blonde headed one, doesn't need to be a red headed one. Come down easily into the piece, very little pressure again. I accomplished there besides making my hole I have saved myself hours of sharpening these big drill bits and you'd be amazed how many kids I let use my shit you know and I kind of watch them I won't say nothing but um, well okay like with the ones that understand like Travis or something I'll say something and usually I try and piss people off or I try and make it funny Because either way, people remember shit. And those are the two best ways to make people remember shit. Make them laugh or piss them off. If I'm pissing y'all off with the language I use, good. I'm meeting my goal, ain't I? <laughs> You'll remember it. If you don't, pass me a hit of that shit because uh, I, like, I, I like that too. This angle's a little bit different, so I'm going to have to rematch it. You notice I've already pulled my big bit out. And I'm putting a little bit in.
this surface, like I say, this ain't rocket science. This surface I can line up with my little one. Now, I don't have oil on it this time. I had a little drop. That's all you need is a little drop. You don't need a fancy drill press with one of those pumps underneath it. I have one of those. I'd love to have one up here at the shop. Unfortunately, by the time we put that son bitch on a forklift and bring it up here, it would cost me just as much to go on ahead and just buy a new one. Kill your press. Looks close enough. Like I say, these are just L brackets, so I can make some coil mounts. This ain't no fucking rocket science. I'm just kind of showing, demonstrating. Boom. Kill. Change my bit. Now I've already covered how not to mess up your mill vise in your drill press. Did that in another video. And in this case, I don't have any supports under there. I'm just using the angle and I've got it up at the top so. Once the bit goes through, it's not going to hit my mill vise. Bring it down. Hit it with some oil. Raise it up just a little blonde cut here. that bitch through. Now come over to the other one. I'm on my big bit, so give it a shot of oil on this side too. Let it run down the bit. Don't don't just put it on your piece because as you dig your hole, the metal filings will push it out. But if you've got oil running down your bit, look at how that goes through there, just nice and slicker than all shit. Boom. And that's how that that's how you use a drill press without having to spend an afternoon sharpening drill bits. We'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckettes later. How you doing?